Right? Okay. All right. Great. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get started. If we're all ready. Thank you very much for coming uh, to this session where I'll be talking about Component Creator. Um, I'd like to just start out to just show a show of hands of people who have never used Component Creator before. Oh, that's good. Great. I hope meat. fresh meat. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping to convert you. Obviously, um, <laughs> my name is Søren Beck Jensen. I'm Danish, um, and I'm the CEO of Jensen Technologies. I was also the lead and the original developer of Component Creator. We have a few more people now that are working on it. I'm a Joomla enthusiast. Sp speak at these events sometimes. Um, I've have written a couple of articles for the for the Joomla magazine and contributed in various ways. I'm also a mentor of the Google Summer of Code program for Joomla. Um, I said I'm Danish, but I actually live in Spain and, and have my businesses in Spain. I live in this lovely little whitewashed village. Um, and that's uh, my lovely team there. We, uh, we focus 100% on Joomla development. Uh, I just want to promote a couple of our other things. <laughs> that we do. Um, we make websites, Joomla websites, and we run a webs um, website called Automatic Backlinks, which is a <coughs> an S SEO website um, that allows you to install a little module on your website that puts link to other members' websites, and in exchange, you get links from their website. Um, so it's an automatic increase in, in, in search engine position for everybody. Then we have Component Creator, and we've just launched Giftreek, which is a website that allows you to log in with Facebook and then it will analyze, you, you then pick one of your friends on Facebook, and then it will analyze their Facebook data and then recommend gifts for them. So it helps you find gifts for your friends if, if they have an upcoming birthday. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk quickly, um, run through some slides, and then I'm going to do something that no presenter should do, I think, and that's go live and actually go into the component creator. So it probably will fail miserably, but uh, at least we'll have fun, eh? And then uh, hopefully, at the end, there will be time for a few questions and answers. Um, but ideally, this session should take an hour and a half, and we have 45 minutes, an hour. So uh, I'll, I'll be rushing through something. But please, during, whenever you have a question, raise your hand, and, and I'll deal with that uh, as we go through it. So uh, Component Creator, we've been doing um, uh, Joomla scaffolding since 2009. It started really as an internal tool because we got fed up with uh, always having to do the same thing again and again and again every time we develop a new component. Uh, and then we were like, hey, this is pretty cool. Maybe other people would like it. And so we put it up on the website and other people started using it. It became quite popular. And then we, we added a bunch of features in 2012 and added a paid version as well. So, But that was for for the extra features. So still today, the vast majority of people who use Component Creator are using the free version. And then if you want some of the more, um, well, basically, if you want multi-table functionality or you want support, then there's a paid version you can use as well. Uh, it's used by more than 35,000 developers. Um, and they've built more than 60,000 components. Um, Conservatively estimated, we think that it saves at least two hours per component, um, and um, and that means that we've saved uh, a minimum of ten years. But actually, I just did the math again. If any of you are math geniuses, you will come out. It's actually more than fourteen years now, um, and that's conservatively estimated. So we we really believe that we've had a very positive impact on the Joomla community in general, and are kind of proud of proud of that fact. You can use it to build two point five or 3.3 components, and we try to always keep on top. And as soon as a new version of Joomla is released, we also release a new builder that matches the latest version. We follow the Joomla model view controller structure as closely as we can. So basically, the code we generate would be what the perfect developer would, would generate. So and that's really where you save the time, is that you can generate bug-free code as a, as a as a base for your further development. Um, and uh, yeah, save lots and lots of hours of work. It generates a complete um, CRUD, uh, create, read, update, and delete functionality in both the administration area of Joomla and the front end 
um, of humor. So that means um, you get everything given to you for free. So you set up, a we're going to create a component, so you, you're going to understand it much better in a minute. But um, basically, you, can, you, you define your component on our website, and it generates all the code, installable uh, zip file that you can simply uh, install into Joomla, and then you get the whole administration. Typically, 100% of the administration is built for you, and you probably don't have to do much in there. And then you adapt whatever front end, how you want it to visualize in the front end. Uh, and it's uh, ACL compatible. We have uh, some new features that I'm going to demonstrate today for, for the people, uh, for those of you who, who know um, Component Creator. We've made it so that if you make changes to a, an existing component you've already installed in, in your site and you go back to, to the Component Creator website and you make changes to fields or tables, uh, maybe delete a field or add another table or add another field or rename a field, then those changes will be updated on your database. We basically make a comparison and then we create a cr an, an edit script for the SQL and, and change the database for you so you don't have to before you had to uninstall your component and then build it again in component creator and then install it again to get those changes and so you would essentially lose any data you had in the database so that's a new feature um, a new feature as well is that it integrates with Joomla search um, so that's the, the the, the, the built-in search that comes with Joomla. Um, now, if you create a component and you list something, some items in that component, you can make them searchable in the default Joomla search field so that among uh, Joomla content articles comes your items that matches whatever search query. That comes 100% uh, included uh, you know, automatically, um, which we think is a pretty neat feature. And we're working on a module creator um, a feature request we have a lot to, to make it easy to create modules that kind of maybe can pull out content from your components. So imagine you create a component that lists um, your record collection, then you could pull out featured records in a module. Um, and uh, just a little bit here for attending this session, you have a 50% discount code, which is JAB14, if should you choose to, to try the uh, featured version. Uh, you can use this for two weeks and it gives you 50% discount on any of our uh, different packages. So note that down if in, in case you fall in love with them. Sure you will. So let's get into it. Let's uh, build a component. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pretend that we have a car rental agency. Um, and we're going to build a component for that in live uh, in a few minutes. I, I pre-made it as well uh, to see if we can speed through it and get to the questions and play around a little bit more. But um, for uh, imagine we have a car rental agency, we will we would want to um, to have some cars and some customers and some rentals, and so that's a, a good kind of thing to to show the the capability uh, capabilities of the component creator because really when it becomes neat is when there's a, a little bit of relation between some 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 items. Um, so we're going to build something that looks a bit like this, where we have some cars that had a license plate or registration number and some features. Features, we're going to use the, the, what's it called, the, um, the tags field in Joomla. Um, employee, we're going to use a J user field. Uh, start date, end date, the calendar functionality in Joomla. Because uh, we support all the native Joomla fields, so th they're easy to add into the component. Um, we're going to have some models, the car models, uh, that which will have a name and an engine type. Um, we're going to have some customers uh, that will have a name, a reference at a phone. Obviously, in, in the real world, they will have a lot more information, uh, but just for, for demonstration. And then, yeah, that's about it. So let's get, let's get on with it. I don't know if there's any questions now. Be a good time to ask them. No? All right, here we go. Let's see, I'm even online. Uh, Uh -huh, and you can't see that, and if I move it over there. Does anybody know how to mirror the Mac uh, window? I'm a new Mac user. Mm. 
There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, right. And how do I? So let's see. Ah, I don't have as much room as I had before. Huh? So we're going to go into this browser. And I'm going to. It looks a bit squeezed because there's a very small uh, screen space I have here. But basically, this is uh, the website. You go uh, to componentcreator.com. Uh, it was also in the, in the first slide. Uh, one thing we're a little bit proud of, and we've also written in, in, the, in the community magazine about, is uh, our multi, multi language. Um, you, can, you can use the whole uh, interface in these languages, and this is actually translated by volunteers using our, our system, um, uh, which we think is pretty neat. So the first thing you do is register. I'm already registered, so I'm just going to log in. I already have a Comcast. It's just for backup uh, purposes or maybe to skip over. Uh, but basically, you, you get in here and start creating your first component, um, which you have a button here called Add Component. So um, actually, for this exercise, let's, let's invent a component. Anybody have an idea? Anybody working on a project where they need a component that's relatively simple? Comcast. <laughs> <laughs> Something else, come on. Anybody? No? Come, come record collection. Yeah. Leadership teams? Sorry? Leadership teams. OK. So. Should we call it Com Leadership? Yes. All right. So it'll have a, an, a display name. And uh, this is for, you get the idea. Then you, you give this component a, a version number. In this case, 1.00 is probably pretty apt. And you can then decide whether or not you want to build for Joomla 2.5 or Joomla 3. Point, uh, whatever the latest version is. I think we should go for the latest version, mainly because that's the demo side of install. Um, then you can decide which languages you want for your component. Basically, it's just going to create the language files uh, in English, uh, for f but with the correct naming. So if we wanted to have Bosnian, we would uh, select that. Uh, then you can set your copyright and your license. Uh, because I've created a component before, it remembers my name, but you could set your own name here, of course. Then you uh, save the component, and we've now created Com Leadership, but it ha doesn't have any tables. So uh, now you're going to have to help me uh, uh, come up with some tables. So we're going to try and manually create a table. So a table name Leadership uh, members. members. Okay, um, and it should automatically uh, generate some names for me here. What it asks here, well, it, I'm going to skip over some some more more advanced fields that is not so necessary, but you could you could change the uh, storage engine that you want to use in Joomla here, um, and the and the collation. But it's it's not so important. What is important is that uh, you see you have out on the left side it says admin views. So which views for this table would you like in the admin? Um, I would like a list of members in the admin. Yes, I would like that. And the plural name for that is members. We could change the the icon. Uh, Let's say maybe that one would be pretty good. Um, you could also upload your own here. Um, and then also, do we want a form? Do we want to be able to edit in the admin? We'll, do we want to be able to edit members? And of course we do. And there would be members. Then we have front end views. So once we install this component and we link to it from the Joomla menu, do we want to list members on the front end? Yes, we would like that. So let's do that. Um, now, in this list on the front end, do we want to link to the details? Like, do we want to see more information about each member? That would be pretty interesting, I think. Um, do we want to allow 
admins who are logged into the front end of the site to edit members, why not? So this is just enables front end editing, basically. Uh, then we could have individual ACL, like uh, which could it's a bit too detailed to get into, so I will skip over. But it would allow you to set it up so that each individual leadership member could only edit their own profile, right? So now we have created our first table. It's called leadership members. Um, by default, we create some very uh, standard fields in Joomla: ID, ordering. So ordering the list, the state, published, unpublished, uh, checked out so that you know the, the whole thing that prevents uh, users overlapping each other and uh, saving on top of each other, checked out time and created by. Those are pretty standard fields. But we're going to create some of our own fields in our, in our table. Um, name would be an obvious one. Um, here is where the action starts happening, where it becomes really interesting. Here you say, okay, so this field, what type of field do you want the name to be? <coughs> for, for this, we would just select the text field because you'd simply just type in the text. But I will just run through the field so you know what options we have. Uh, text field, a text area field, um, a checkbox, uh, pretty obvious, a list, a select list where you define, like I can try and make a select list and then um, it allows you to um, create different list items to select from. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, anyway, we're not going to have a list, so <laughs> I'm going to go back to the text field. But um, you can do radio buttons, you can do WYSIWYG editor. Basically, these are all the standard Joomla fields that can be defined using um, uh, JFORM. Uh, password, field, select, integer list, calendar, hidden field, languages, all of them are there. Uh, time zones, users, um, even the SQL field where you can uh, make custom queries into your SQL database and, and, and produce a, a select list of, of uh, whatever it is you've loaded. Then we have some special fields, um, a foreign key, which is to link two tables together. So I imagine we're going to have some other field in our new component. And, and, and let's say maybe the, the other field could be uh, group or something like that. And, and so, or, or continent, let's say continent, right? And so you'd want, whenever you create a new member in the leadership team, you want to select what continent they belong to. So we would need to have a continent table and then feed those, the whatever we add of continents would then be selectable on, on, on this uh, member. We can do that. We'll, we will do that. Um, created by, uh, store the user. We've already created this field, but we can create it uh, again if we deleted it. Time created, time updated. Then you can also choose just to select raw uh, MySQL fields. So all the MySQL fields are here. Um, numeric, date and time, string, uh, spatial, <laughs> should you need to. Um, right, so we wanted this to be a text field. Now, when you're creating a new member of the leadership team, it's not, uh, it wouldn't be practical to have a default name, but uh, you could put in a default name and, and it would already be filled in in the form whenever you go to create a new leadership member. Um, this is the help text that pops up when people in the admin uh, uh, get to this form and they're adding a member. Yeah. You can choose whether or not this field should be read only, i.e. Uh, once you edit this item, you can only see uh, what's already there. Um, and you can also disable this field so nobody can edit it. Uh, you can add your own custom class. You can select, uh, uh, again, a, a standard Joomla filter. Uh, we can do save HTML on this one. You can set the size and the max length. Um, uh, a what? Um, what do you mean exactly? Uh, you could do that with the SQL field, yeah. You okay. could select from two, two tables in that sense. Uh, 
because it's not a feature offered by Joomla. Uh, we we pretty much do what Joomla does. Um, well, if it's something you can set up on MySQL without having to do anything in the PHP or whatever, then yes. Uh, well, you can take a, a normal text editor and have it as a PHP file. Yeah, but that's not encrypted. It's still stored as clear text. Yeah. Um, right, so this field now that we created, the name for the members, uh, we want to decide whether or not we want to show on the form view uh, of, of this component. We would, otherwise it would be pretty uh, uh, non-important. We can say whether or not we want the user, uh, they are required to fill out this field. And we can also say, when I see a list of members, I want to see their name. So that would be pretty obvious, so I would say yes. Um, and also when I search in the admin, in my list of members, I want to be able to search this name. So yes, please. Am I going too fast? Nope. <laughs> Brilliant. Too slow? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, because I, I know what you're all waiting for, right? You wanna you wanna see me click build out here on the right hand side, and <laughs> and, and then you wanna see me install it, and I will, I will. But I just uh, I think we should create continents. Yes, let's create a, the a country. You know. Or teams, other, other, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. Um, so I go back here, and I only have this one. Um, I can add a table. Uh, teams, we'll just teams. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, I want to see a list of my teams. I want to make the last one. Same editing. That's it. Create a table. So now I have my teams. Um, we could call it team name. Uh, boom, boom. Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, text field or, yeah, we'll just do a text field. Um, but basically, yeah. Uh, okay. So we've just created this very crude little example now. And so now we, we, we would want to go back and to the first member team and select which team they're on. So we go back here and we say that the members has these fields. We want to add another field, which is team ID. Uh, then we want to go down here and say it's a foreign key, select from other table. Then we can now select either the, the tables that we've just created or one of the core tables. That's a relatively new feature as well that you can now select. If I wanted to say select something from the banner table, right? um, but um, we want to select from the teams table. And there it says, OK, the, the key is the ID and the value should be the team, which we created, right? And I can opt whether or not you can select multiple teams. Uh, that might be a bit complicated. Um, Make field required, uh, team ID, oh, it should just be team. Show on list, team, include, nah, add a filter, yes, add a filter, yes, add field. Okay, so now I think we've, we understand pretty much what this is about. Uh, let's try and build. So now I'm building. Um, where did it go? Come leadership we have there. I need to go over here. <coughs> this is a this is a, a blank uh, Joomla 3.3 that I installed a couple of days ago. Um, we are going to go to extensions, extension manager. Uh, upload a package file, and I have there come leadership. I'm just gonna. I thought I was just gonna drag that up, but it didn't work. So let's see if I can drag it in here. <coughs> nope. All right, let's click browse. Oh, that's the uh, the zip file. Uh, yeah. Open. 
upload and install, and applause. <laughs> we have now uh, installed uh, 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 the leadership team's uh, component. As you can see, we have members and we have teams. Um, the first thing you'd go and do, you'd create some teams because you can't have members without a team. Um, so I go in here and I will create a new team. Uh, I don't a name for a team. CLT. CLT. Okay. Save and close. Oh yeah, we could do a new. Yeah, let's. PLT. Any more? OSM. Okay, that's it. Um, okay, so now you can see we have the, the different um, teams uh, that we could easily, if we had a little bit more time, created more fields and removed the created by field if that wasn't relevant. Um, I can now go to members and I can uh, create a new member, Javier. Uh, and I can select which team he's a member of. And I will save and close. So now I can see Javier, PLT. Um, we could add another one. Uh, let's see. Do you have a name? David. David Hurley. And CLT. Okay. And, and rem if you remember, we said we wanted in this list, when we created this list, we wanted a filter. Um, so uh, that filter is here, and so I now only want to see CLT members. Boom, there I only see CLT members. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, uh, I hope this has so far given you a pretty good idea of, of how much time we've saved, uh, and, and, and how it's pretty neat. Uh, into multiple filters. No, no. We could try and see. Th th we might be stress stressing it to breaking point here, but we can try and do that. I can go back and we said teams, uh, where you selected the team. No, that was not it. Yeah, 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 sorry. It's the members, when they select the team ID, uh, yes, there was a select multiple. I was just, it was almost be too good to, to be true if that worked, so I didn't dare <laughs> clicking, but now, we, now I've been uh, challenged. So we'll try. I'm building it, um, and I'm going back. Ex <laughs> you don't have to. Um, Although it would have been good in the sense that then I'd know which file to open, but I think it's that one. Um, and so now we have component, leadership teams, members. Let's see if we can put David in more than one team. Ah, look at that. Um, a little bit. And, and, and my team. Um, oh, I wanted to show something really cool. Um, <laughs> I'm getting started. I'm only just getting started. Yeah. Oh, good. Good uh, question. Let's let's just do that. Um, I don't know if we created it in front. We did. Yeah. So I go to the main menu, add a new menu item. Uh, I, the menu item I want is from leadership teams. Yeah. And now I can, because we said we both wanted the groups and the members in the front end, I'm presented with form and list and single item. So I could link directly to a member or a member group. Or I could link to the form for editing one, or I could link to the list. The most obvious is to, list to, to link to a list of members. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, leaders. Save and close, right? And then we go to the front end. Uh, should have their leaders here. So now I have my, my members on the front end. Um, I'm not sure we set it so you could edit, but we, so this is, we don't know how you're gonna use this data. So we just put it out ver very raw to you. And then it's up to you to make it pretty or take out the things you don't want. 
Um, but this is what we do in the front end. And if I log in in the front end, I should be able to edit and delete from the front end as well. Well, that's a standard Joomla. It's just your, your yeah, you, we have views, uh, a, a, a component view that you can either hack manually or you can even override it. Um, uh, I, I just wanted to show a little bit because we have a pretty powerful feature. If you already have an existing uh, component or even just a database structure, then we also allow to, instead of sitting and clicking our interface, to simply just import some SQL. And, and for me, that's a pretty powerful feature. And in fact, I did this presentation almost a year ago in Joomla Day Spain, and we upgraded Virtual Mart to 3.3 that day. Or <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well 3.1 or whatever it was that day. Um, so uh, let's go to the extension directory. Anybody have, I mean, again, uh, we, we can, I know an extension that works well, but I'm willing to be challenged. So any simple extension, but not too many tables. Anybody have a component? If not, huh? Um, uh, I, I like, uh, actually, I'm a big fan of this component. We use it to send our newsletters uh, on Component Creator. It's AC, AC Mailing or AC Mailer. Um, and I, um, I chose that because I know it's coded to, to standard. Um, where can I download? Oh, I have to go into it to download. Download. Uh, agree download. So what we are just gonna do, we're gonna go into, our, we're gonna create a new component, right? Add component, come, AC test, should we call it? Oh, AC test. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Oh, which should be a three point. So now I've created this empty one, and now I can in, instead of manually add a table, I can import SQL. So uh, let's go and open AC Mailer here. Uh, I should be able to dig out in the back there is a tables whoa what happened here i'm a new mac user did i say there there it is tables sql um if i simply copy this this is the the sql that when you install AZ mailer it creates all the tables and we can uh, we can steal that and you could do that from basically any component um, or if you export your existing uh, database structure, um, uh, you simply pull it in and it, it, it loops through everything, analyzes the SQL, and creates all the fields for you. Uh, it then says, but hey, AZ Mailer, you're not using an ordering uh, state to check out, so we think you should add that. So, th so it suggests those. We, you, can, you can disable that. Obviously, they have other ID fields. They call it field ID instead of ID, and that's why we recommend ID, but I'll, I'll just leave it in here now. You could change a lot of things here. Instead of front comp, you don't want that to be a tiny int. Well, then let's make it something else. Uh, same Joomla fields that you saw when I was creating it using the interface. I'll just rush through because they, have, they do have a lot of tables. Um, so I'm just gonna go to the bottom here somewhere and I'm gonna click import. So now I've created all these uh, tables. Uh, exactly the same as if I'd done it manually. You can see if some of them have 22 fields, you can go in. I can, I can edit if I wanted the options to be something else in the text area. I could change, <coughs> it, change it to a email field um, and, and, and do all of those things. Then I could save the changes. Then I can build it. And uh, now comes the interesting bit where we go into our site here and try and install it.
AC test. There we are. Da, 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 da. And now we have a AC test email, uh, AC test component, list subs. We have all the, all the fields that their form would have for the list sub, the sub ID, the sub date. I can choose here uh, the field, start date, end date, status, um, anything that you would uh, normally do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can keep making components, but I think <laughs> I've, I've, I've pretty much uh, demonstrated the capabilities. If there's any questions, I would love to hear them. It does. Uh, we can try that on our front end here. I don't know. Did we say that we wanted it in the search? I can't remember. Oh, we did. Yeah. So if I search for David. Hello. Oh, come JCC update. It's a Joomla bug. <laughs> um, I don't really know why I did that because I think I tested that, but um, it's a it's a Joomla bug. But yeah, it should work. Uh, I, I think we actually installed it. it. Yeah, we can go. Oh, and we haven't even looked at the code. We haven't even looked at the code. Uh, because that's that's what we often get is yeah yeah that's very well and fine but I'm I bet your code sucks, and it doesn't. Anything you want to look at the model controller view whatever. All oh, right, the leadership you know yeah. Um, administrator, let's go probably a model is is the most complex. Uh, Members, okay, a list model. What happened? Oh, there it is. So it has in the top uh, the comment section, which is uh, all the data that we entered in the beginning when we created the first component. Uh, other than that, it should pretty much follow um, the way, there's a little indentation error there that we'll get fixed, but other than that, it should uh, indent correctly and it should use all the, the standard methods that, that you know, how to code a Joomla uh, component. Uh, so that means when you take over, when you've generated the skeleton and, and saved, you know, a week's holidays worth of work, uh, it, when you take over and go in and start editing it, it's, it's like if you had coded it yourself. And, and you just have to, to do the little things that make your application unique and different from all the other uh, Joomla applications. We we hear that a lot. A lot of uh, yeah. people, uh, yeah, tell tells us they they want to create something with Joomla. They use our tool, the free version, um, and they create the, the the scaffolding for their idea. And then they can see how it's done, and they're like, ah okay. And then they can uh, add to it themselves. And, and yeah. Yeah, well, uh, it's it's a new feature that I briefly mentioned in the in the slide. That if you if you, the basically the versioning that's a version number that you can set yourself. But that's basically just a number for yourself and for your users. If I may add, you can duplicate a component. Okay. So we have for yeah. one point zero. Okay. So let's duplicate. Then we make it to one point zero dot one, and we keep changing. Ah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we go where are we here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can you can take this uh, leadership, and you can duplicate it, and so now we have com leadership copy one, um, and I guess really the the interesting bit would be to edit this component and then set a different version. <coughs> um, but also, if if you now install, um, if you make changes to your component and install it again, uh, the, 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 the files will just be overwritten. Mm -hmm. uh, and the database, as I said, we now have a script that will upgrade your database and make the manip manipulations in the database mm -hmm. for you. And so what we recommend is that you, you commit to Git your, your, your project first 
And so if you go back to, to Component Creator, make some changes and reinstall, then you can merge in any customizations that you had made to your files. So you can merge them back in after you reinstall the Component Creator, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, but basically, we, we, we consider it a tool for developers to use as a starting point, not a tool to create your whole component. It, it, it we, f we think it's 95% of the work. Uh, or it obviously depends. And sometimes you can get away with more or less making it all. But, but it, 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 it should be considered a starting point for developers, a, a time-saving tool for developers. <coughs> Yes, you simply just go in and 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 edit. Um, I mean, you could copy it, and so you have two versions like that. Yeah, yeah. You simply just change the version number, and it builds a different file set. Uh, oh, a combined installer. No, no. And again, it's not really meant to create something. Certainly for distribution, uh, it w it's meant to create the files for you so that you have a very good start on creating something yourself. A any more questions? What's the difference between the CD and the source code? Good question. Um, <coughs> let's just take a look at the pricing page so we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, it doesn't work very well in the, in the small browser. Um, basically, the, f the, f the free version, you can build unlimited components, but you can only make one table. So you can't make the, the interlinking of, uh, of two tables. Um, the, the paid versions, which is 29 a month, or you get it cheaper if you buy more months, um, allows you to create unlimited tables, still unlimited components, and you get customer support. And we really pride ourselves with our customer support. I don't know if anybody has experienced it in here, but we really try to, to give very good customer support. Um, and um, also the new things, the, um, the what have we just created? Oh, the updater only works on the featured, uh, on, on the, the paid version. Um, and also the module creator that comes will probably also only be for the, uh, the, the featured. I keep calling the featured. The paid version. Yeah? Any other questions? Any, anyway, if you have any questions, please grab me. We, I'm here for the next many days, and I love to talk about the component creator, as you can see. <laughs> so um, well I'll just say thank you to all for coming. It's been great. Thank you. <laughs>